Welcome to the Eric Avisar Show. Now time to talk March Madness, the first eight games taking place on Thursday. I'm going to tell you what to watch for, who will be the most exciting players to watch, and of course, for all you gamblers out there, who's going to cover each spread. So, uh, starting things off on Thursday, the first game to tip off is going to be Louisville taking on Minnesota. Daniel Coffey and Jordan Murphy are two really good players for the Gophers, but they're not going to be enough to get it done against the likes of Jordan Wara, who has improved so much uh, as a sophomore under the guidance of Louisville head coach Chris Mack, uh, who frankly should have been awarded ACC Coach of the Year after the cards were picked to finish 11th in the conference, and here they are, a seven seed in the big dance. And they also have Dwayne Sutton, and Stephen Enoch uh, in the front court. So they're really going to be physically imposing. And this game really has a three-point shooting barrage from Ryan McMahon written all over it. Louisville to cover the 5.5 spread, feeling very confident uh, about that pick. Now, Yale is taking on LSU, uh, the same Yale team uh, or Yale program, you should say. You know, Of course, different players now uh, that took down Baylor in the tournament not too long ago. They are led by Mie Oni, who has averaged over 17 points a game and six rebounds a game. Uh, I really like Yale because they can shoot the three. They have uh, really solid uh, free throw shooters. This is free throw awareness month. And, you know, the Tigers are built to win close games. They've played in seven, yes, seven overtime games this season. So certainly don't think uh, LSU is going to cover uh, the 7.5 point spread. I'm actually picking Yale uh, to win this game. You know, Tremont Waters for LSU is a really talented point guard. Nas Reed could just as easily take over this game or lay a complete dud. Whatever LSU accomplishes this season will likely be taken away from the NCAA. They have a dark cloud hanging over the program, and I think Yale will be the beneficiaries here. Now, uh, New Mexico State taking on Kansas, or sorry, New Mexico State taking on Auburn, correction. Uh, they are um, a very balanced team, New Mexico State. You know, they're coming into the tournament on a 19-game win streak. However, Auburn is coming in arguably even hotter after just blowing away Tennessee in the SEC title game with some ridiculous uh, three-point shooting, an absolute barrage came from the Tigers. Uh, you know, Jared Harper and Bryce Brown are really going to get it done, and they're going to create opportunities down low uh, for big man Austin Wiley. I have Auburn uh, certainly covering the 5.5 spread. They're going to win that game by double digits, I think. Uh, Florida State taking on Vermont. Florida State is a sleeper pick to reach the Final Four this year. You know, this is a team that seems to be peaking at the right time uh, after nearly winning the ACC tournament. Uh, Vermont, the Catamounts, have a star in Anthony Lamb who averages over 21 points per game. But the Seminoles have the defensive size and talent to potentially shut him down altogether. I mean, M. Fiondu, uh, Cabin Gailey, uh, is a, just such an imposing physical specimen who's probably skyrocketing up NBA Draft Scouts boards right now. Uh, MJ Walker and Terrence Mann are going to bring really, really solid guard play. You know, <laughs> the FSU has a massive big man talent with uh, Chris Kumaje, a very deep squad that Leonard, Leonard Hamilton has. I think FSU will definitely cover uh, as nine point favorites here. Michigan State playing uh, Mon uh, up against uh, Bradley. Bradley is most known right now for denying a 29-year veteran reporter uh, access to cover the team. That is not a good look for the Bradley Braves. And Michigan State is going to come into this game hangry. They're pissed they got put in the same region as Duke when they were the strongest two seed in the field, and they got punished uh, by taking on the number one overall seed potentially in the Elite Eight. So they're going to take out that anger on Duke. Uh, Cassius Winston is one of the best point guards in college basketball. I think Matt McQuaid's going to rain threes. Huge for Sparty to have uh, Nick Ward back in the lineup. He could definitely throw down a lot of dunks in this game. Michigan State's going to cover the 18.5 point spread. Uh, now, there are no betting odds yet 
for uh, Belmont versus Maryland, but I'm picking Belmont to consolidate its momentum uh, after beating Temple, you know, a double-digit win for them. Uh, they look really strong right now. Dylan Windler is the real deal for the Bruins. He really knows how to score. Uh, you know, he's going to be an NBA player, as I've mentioned earlier. And while the Terps have some really talented players who will be playing pro ball, like Anthony Cowan, Jalen Smith, you know, Bruno Fernando is one of the best centers in college basketball, they don't have the strongest guard play. And it's all about guard play uh, in the month of March. And Mark Turgeon is not a proven winner in the month of March. So I'm taking Belmont uh, to take down the Terrapins. Kansas uh, is going to be taking on Northeastern, and certainly the Jayhawks were a popular pick to win it all at the start of the season. But things have really changed. LeGerald Vick no longer with the team. Yudoka Azubuki out for the season after getting hurt. It's not the same team, but hey, Diedrich Lawson is the best forward in the Big 12. Such a talented and you know lethal inside-outside threat. I don't think Northeastern is going to have an answer for him. And you know, Quinton Rhymes and Devon Dotson are going to get theirs as well. You know, Northeastern has uh, Vasa Pusica, who can keep the game close with his three-point shooting. And you know, if Northeastern gets hot from the field, they could really make things interesting here because, like I said, this is not the same Kansas team we're used to seeing. So I'm going to take the Jayhawks uh, to win this game, but I don't think. Uh, they're going to cover the 5.5 spread. I'm going to take Northeastern uh, in terms of betting here, but not the most confident pick. Now, the best matchup of the first round is Marquette Murray State. Certainly, the best individual matchup of the first round is Ja Morant, soon to be likely top five NBA draft pick. You know, the sophomore going up against Marquette's uh, Marcus Howard, who was recently named Big East Player of the Year. The Golden Eagles have to put a really controversial and awfully officiated Big East semifinal loss to Seton Hall behind them. You know, Marcus Howard is capable of just absolutely going off. He has scored 50 points before. Uh, but here's the thing. John Morant can give Marcus Howard fits defensively. But that is not the case vice versa. Marcus Howard is not going to shut down John Morant. Morant is going to have a huge game in this one. And he has a great backcourt running mate as well. Uh, with Shaq Buchanan, whose name's been kind of lost in all of the Morant uh, mania, if you will. A 12-5 upset here. Murray State is going to take down Marquette. So Marquette being the 3.5 favorite here, they're going to blow it. You know, they have the Hauser brothers. They have a really solid offense, but so much of it is based around Marcus Howard, and I think he is not going to have the game he needs for Marquette to win this game. I really like Murray State in this one. So thank you all so much for tuning in and enjoy the most wonderful time of the year.